Hi everybody, Joel from JST Woodcraft. Welcome to my shop. As you all know, uh, I've been going through a series of processes here and trying to keep moisture uh, as much as I can out of my casting process. And I decided uh, in, in the process of adding a, a new airline system to the shop that I would add one of these silica gel uh, dehumidification systems to my pressure lines. So just wanted to give everybody a quick video on what this looks like and how this works. So on this side over here, this is a filtration system. So this is any any dust or whatever might get ingested into my air compressor. This is going to filter this out and keep this clean and just basically clean the air. The air moves from this side here over comes down in here and is released in the bottom, passes through these silica pellets, and then goes out into my airline system. And I found this to, to work quite well. But one of the things that I thought would be a fun visual, uh, once this has been in place for a while, would be to show everybody what these gel things look like. Now what you're seeing here is the ones towards the back, these back here, uh, that have turned kind of a light pink color. That's what they look like when they've uh, absorbed as much moisture as they can. When they first go in, they look like these dark blue, these cobalt blue uh, pellets. And actually, I think there is a cobalt chloride. That's the chemical that's in there. So there you go, cobalt. Uh, so they start out like that, and they turn to this. So I just recently, actually this morning, just changed the filter out or changed the silica gel out. So what you're seeing inside the container there is nice dark cobalt. So that's fresh. And what you saw in the others is, I'm guessing about a month's worth of uh, constant use at the lathe and in my casting pot. Now what you were supposed to be able to do, and I will tell you this does work, you can take these pellets, you can put them on a tray uh, probably not a toaster oven you eat it from, but a toaster oven that uh, uh, you have in your shop or a microwave even, and you can return them to that cobalt blue color and recycle them. I'm not quite sure how many times you can do that, uh, but I'm thinking quite often. They come in large packages. They're not terribly pricey. Uh, this would this thing, if I was to just dispose of these, which I don't know why you would, but if you needed to, um, this this would probably fill that container four or five times. So if you're really looking to get serious with the dehumidification of your airline system and uh, take it to the next step, uh, this is the system to go with. There is a process one step above this that is a true uh, air conditioning style dehumidification system. It's basically a dehumidifier, an electric dehumidifier that uses the principles of air conditioning uh, to remove moisture from the air. Um, this, about $100. Next step up, I think you're in the four to five, six hundred $600 range. Uh, if your shop is properly dehumidified, and you can see the video I have uh, on this page where I put in a dehumidification system, um, that, in addition to this, should suffice even for the, the worst of days. I can tell you I can cast in my shop when it is pouring, raining cats and dogs outside, and I have no problems with the humidity in my system. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.